Hi guys, in this video we are going to be going over multiplication, specifically using the standard, more traditional way how to do multiplication. The reason why we don't use it in class is because it doesn't give you any reasoning as to why the answer comes out the way it does. It's just one of the ways that you can do math where it's like, this is math, this is how you do it, and you don't ask questions, you just do it. And that's not the way that we really want to do math. We want to do it um, uh, using area model or the bow tie method because that helps you understand the different numbers and how multiplication breaks down and how we can add things together. But I did want to make this video uh, so that you're able to compare everything, so that you do know the way, and because I know you're, this is the way that your parents and myself learned how to do multiplication when we were your age. So, let's give it a try. So let's start off with the question, what is multiplication? Multiplication is adding equal groups. For example, here we have a group of three plus a group of three plus a group of three to equal nine. Now what that can be translated into is three times three is nine. And how that is translated is that it is three times a group of three to equal nine. In this video, we are going to be going over multiplication by using standard algorithm. Now, algorithm means a set of steps you take to complete a task. Now, let's start off by looking at the equation 18 times 42. First thing you need to remember when using standard algorithm is that the biggest number needs to be on the top. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to do eight times two. Now, eight times two is 16. I'm gonna put the six down here and the one carries over the four. I'm gonna add a line here so that we know the difference between what we're multiplying and what we will later add, okay? Now the next question I do is I do eight times four. Now eight times four is 32, and because the one came over, I need to add it, so I have 33. Okay, now we're gonna be shifting over one because we're done with the eight and we can cross out the one because we're done with it. But because we've moved over to the tens column here, we need to put a little X or you could put a zero, whichever one you prefer, to indicate that we've moved over one spot, okay? Now we do one times two, which is two, and we do one times four, which is four. Now, that's all of our numbers. So now what we need to do is we need to add. So we have six plus zero, which is six. Three plus two, which is five. And three plus four, which is seven. And there's a final answer, 756. Now let's do a mastery check. When I say so, I want you to pause and solve the question yourself using standard algorithm. And then we can come back together and check and see how, what your answer is. Okay, ready? Pause. Okay, so the first thing you should have done is you should have put 32 on top because it is the bigger number. And then 16 is on the bottom. Next, we do six times two, which is 12. The two goes below and the one goes on top. And then we do six times three. Oh, almost forgot our line. We want our line to divide um, our multiplication from our addition. Okay, then we have six times three, which is 18 plus one, which is 19. Okay. And we're done with the six and we're done with the one. We wanna add the X or zero here, okay? 
Then we have one times two, which is two. Then we have one times three, which is three. We add it all together and we have two. Nine plus two is 11. So the one goes here and the one carries over. And three plus one is four, plus one is five. So our final answer is 512. And this one, we have 17 times 56. I want you to pause and try this question by yourself. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to have 56 on top because it is the biggest number. Then we have, are multiplying it by 17. So 56 times 17. Before we get started, I do want to remember to add my little line up top so that if I have any numbers that need to carry over, I do not get them confused with what I need to multiply and what I need to add. So the first question I have is, what is seven times six? My answer is 42. So the four, so the four goes up here, and the two is gonna go down below, okay? Now seven times five is 35, plus four is 39. Done with that, and I'm done with that, and we add the little x here. Okay, now we have one times six, which is six, and one times five, which is five. We're gonna add this all up. 2 plus 0 is 2, 9 plus 6 is 15, add the 5 down here and the 1 goes up here, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. For our final one, we have a much bigger number, so I want you to pause and try and do it, and then we'll come back and see if we can do it together. What you should have done is you should have put it 945 on top, since it is the bigger number. And then you'll have 21. We're multiplying it, so we want to add a little symbol here. Okay. And we want to make sure we have our line above so that we know where the adding numbers go. So we're going to make that a little more messy so that we know it's not a multiplying line. Okay. So we start off really easy. We have one times five, which is five, one times four, which is four, and one times nine, which is nine. Okay, we need to add a little x and we need to cross out the one since we're done with it. Okay, and I do two times five, which is 10. So we add a one over the four and a zero down here. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 9 is 18, so we add it here. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 0 is 4. 9 plus 9 is 18. The 1 goes up here, and the 8 goes here. Eight plus one is nine, and one plus zero is one. So our final answer is 19,845. Now, I just, before we are done here, and I wrap up my conclusion, I just wanna say this. Standard algorithm can be a lot faster, but you do need to be extremely careful on how you organize your numbers because it can be really confusing and it's easy to mess up and misplace a number using this theory of math. And that was multiplication the more traditional way. Um, it is a little confusing sometimes, granted, and you want to be really careful when using it because it's very easy to forget a step. It is very easy 
to forget one little number which can throw off your entire answer. So you do want to be extra careful with that. Uh, again, this is one of the many reasons um, that I prefer using area model because it helps me stay organized. It helps me know what I'm doing and what step I'm at. Um, but again, if you want to go over the other two uh, ways of multiplication, you can. Okay. And if you're more comfortable using it this way, you can use it this way. Um, so yeah, whatever way is best for you. I do hope that you're able to understand why you're doing the equation and why math is the way that it is, that you're able to understand the rules for um, in the future uh, when we dig deeper into math. Um, so yeah, okay. I do hope you enjoyed this video overall though, and I will see you in class. And as always, you can email me if you have any questions. Bye.